Hi everyone, it's Miss Carol, and we are we are on week four of our Sunday School Google Classroom, and this week's theme is Grace is God's Gift, and our scripture is from Psalm 103. I'd like to remind you whenever you log in to do your lesson, I would like you to have your Bibles handy because each week I will read um, our scripture and I'd like for you to read along with me. So if you're ready, I'll begin. Psalm 103. Praise the Lord my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord my soul and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and gracious, slow to anger, abounding in love. He will not always accuse, nor will he harbor his anger forever. He does not treat us as our sins deserve or repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his love for those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we were dust. The life of mortals is like grass. They flourish like a flower of the field. The wind blows over it, and it is gone. And its place remembers it no more. But from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him. And his righteousness is with their children's children, with those who keep his covenant and remember to obey his precepts. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding who obey his word, praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants, who do his will. Praise the Lord, all his works, everywhere in his dominion. Praise the Lord, my soul. Well, that was wonderful, boys and girls, wasn't it? So, grace is God's gift. God Grace is God's gift. Let's talk about that. First off, I want you to imagine or think of something so big, so outrageous, so expensive that no one could ever afford to buy it, no matter how rich they were. Oh, it's almost impossible to imagine something like that, isn't it? Everything you see at stores or even find online can be bought if you have enough money to pay for it. Today, we hear from God's word, however, that something does exist that is so big and so amazing that no amount of money could ever be enough to purchase this thing. What is it? It's God's grace. Last week, we talked about needing God's help all the time. And when God helps us, even when we don't deserve it, that's called grace. But grace is so much more than simply God's help. Grace is the most amazing gift ever given. Grace is the most incredible thing about our God. It sure sounds like you, you'd have to be rich and famous to even consider having some of God's grace. But here's the good news. You don't have to be rich to receive God's grace because God's grace isn't for sale. 
So how do we get God's grace? God freely and abundantly pours out his grace on us. Have you ever heard of Kool-Aid, every, boys and girls? I, when I was a little girl, that was what we we drank as a treat. Kool-Aid came in little packets. It might still today, but it certainly did back then. It was about this big. And our moms used to have a big pitcher of water, and you'd pour the Kool-Aid powder in, and then you'd stir it up, and it was such a it was such a good treat. But anyway, let's see if you remember or if you've even heard of Kool-Aid. Some of you may have. If you haven't, ask your mom or dad. For lots of kids, when they were growing up, Kool-Aid, like myself, was a very special treat. Our moms would mix up a yummy drink in a pitcher and pour a little glass for each of us. Most children know that they wish they could have a glass of Kool-Aid much bigger than what their moms gave them. But mom had to serve it in small amounts. Not because it was so expensive, but because it had a lot of sugar in it. God's grace is kind of like that. It doesn't cost you anything. So you'd think that God would just give you as much grace as possible, all at once. But God's grace is really, really sweet. Not because it's made of sugar, but because it comes with so much of God's love for you. So to be sure that you don't overdo it, and to be sure that there's enough grace for all the times in life, when you'll need it some more, God gives his grace to you day by day, little by little. Remember, there is nothing you or I could ever do to deserve, to deserve God, God's grace or even to be worthy of it. But God is gracious with his grace. He loves to give it to those who trust him. Even though we don't always deserve it, when we trust God fully, he gives us just the right amount of his grace. What a wonderful lesson, huh, boys and girls? God gives us his grace every single day, little by little, for our whole lives. So, boys and girls, I hope that you will remember that God loves you very much. He loves you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. He is with you every second, every minute, every hour of every day. So take time to talk to him and tell him how much you love him as well. So boys and girls, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Today was pretty warm outside, or it seemed pretty warm. Some of the snow is melting, and we know that next month is the start of spring. Do you remember the date we talked about last time? Yep, March 21st. Well, there still might be snow on the ground, but that's the first day of spring. And there may be some flowers that are trying to pop up through all the snow. But in any case, spring is such a wonderful time. Every season is a wonderful time. Everything that God gives us is wonderful, and I hope you appreciate it. So take some time to thank God for everything that you have. And until next week, when I will be here for another lesson, I want you to have a great week. Enjoy your lesson. Learn those memory verses so you can be rewarded. I'm rewarding children all the time for their verses. And as always, blessings to you all. Until next week, have a great week. Bye.